Hello and welcome back to some more Civ 5. More uh, taking care of that. When we last last left off, the warrior had uh, almost been killed, and we were well on our way to founding a second city. Actually, instead of building more improvements, I'm going to have him build a road down here. Let's see. Why would you want me to build here? Strategic resources, which we'll get over here, or luxury resources, which we'll also get some of over here. So I'm going to stick with my plan and build over here. Now that was kind of dangerous, but because the barbarians will generally defend their encampment, unless they can get something, uh, it was something we could pull off. Three things under Welcome. The medieval era. I think we are the first to the medieval era. I'm gonna found the city there, like planned. And uh, we'll have the worker build a road to there. And then this new archer should head for that city. And now that we've done that, uh, we want to work on this because otherwise we probably won't get to found a religion. Um, yep, this is going to be useful because we're pretty much a landlocked civilization and uh, in all likelihood it's going to remain that way for the entire game. Uh, we'll build the shrine. Uh, we got a free monument for the culture because of our uh, policies. I should research Actually, I should be working towards engineering. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's work towards engineering. So that uh, we can get bridges over rivers, which is good. We have a couple of rivers by start our starting city. But it will also give us aqueducts, which all of our cities will get for free because of our policies. Next turn. And nothing there. Next turn. All right, archers in position. Someone else has entered the medieval era, but we got here first. Can't be discovered. Way over there. I don't care. Fortify, so no more maintenance for that, which is another gold per turn. The roads, however, will quickly cost maintenance. But, uh, you know, that will hopefully get dealt with soon enough. And having access to the extra ivory will give us something we can trade to other civilizations, either by uh, charging the money for it, or just more simply uh, getting other luxury resources. And the reason I'm choosing the visibility promotion instead of the survivalism one is because the survivalism one doesn't actually seem to uh, work correctly, like the survivalism promotion for scouts, or at least it doesn't in my experience. Excuse me, and uh, that could just be bad luck on my part, but um, I don't know. It seems bugged from what I've seen. Uh, okay. That means there's... Great merchant, that's good. That means there's room for exactly one more religion. So, uh... Oh. John D. Rockefeller. Sounds reasonable. Uh, we're just gonna have him very simply go and perform his trade mission down here. Although... It might not be a bad idea to have him build his province improvement. Hmm. I'll think about that. Not for long, because, I mean, next turn is probably when we're going to make the decision. But I'll think about it for that 30 seconds. Did you found a religion? No, you haven't. That is very interesting. Are to be looked to. And you haven't founded a religion? Hmm. All very interesting. Uh, as much as I would like to upgrade that unit, we're not going to do that right now. 
we will upgrade this one and you know what I think I am actually going to go here and uh, build his province improvement uh, we can adopt a policy now and while there are several different reasons why all these are good this one will help us towards our victory goal uh, adopting the first one will cause uh, relations to degrade slower and let us build the forbidden palace once we research up to it which uh... what is that it's here which is something we should prioritize that is a fairly good wonder so oh we did finish construction okay um, let's get engineering next for the aqueducts and also a couple of uh, miscellaneous bonuses and uh, explore hopefully they don't make a stupid decision though I find it unlikely that I'll be that lucky I will have the archer finish that warrior off okay not finish him off we'll have the city finish him off and then we'll build the customs house for more gold which uh, that'll fit into my long-term you'll see how that'll fit more into my long-term plan a bit later in you know the long term generally when uh, most long-term plans come to fruitation uh, our scout is not that smart he decided this was the best way to go he was wrong uh, we could just make a nuisance of ourselves and have him fortify there in fact that's what we're going to do because uh, I'm just that kind of guy then instead of upgrading I'm going to have the archer come down and start fighting immediately so we can get rid of this encampment because it is a nuisance and a hazard uh, someone has enhanced Catholicism Oh, hey, would you look at that? Free money. So. Pointiest sticks. Hmm. Our military is not as good as some other people's. On the other hand, we're kind of isolated, so that's not as big of a deal. Hopefully. At least, at, you know, it's not as big of a deal at the current time. Uh, if nothing else. Uh, we'll do that. Potentially a bad idea, but, uh, well, we'll find out next turn if it was. And. Okay, we'll have those ones fire on that. The archers finish them off. And then the warriors take care of the encampment. And more money. And then... Let's... Hmm... We'll purchase it here. And we should be able to, uh... Create a trade route from there. If we can't, we'll just move it down here, which is even closer, and we'll almost certainly will be able to. Uh, somewhere desires marble, which is a shame for them. We don't really have marble. Uh, mostly open train, so open train promotion, and go in and upgrade. Then have that one move there. Uh, if I have you establish a trade route, you can. Okay, do that. And now we're making much more money per turn. This is good. Very good. Someone else has built the statue of Zeus. Good for them. Um, continue to explore. Don't get trapped, that would be really annoying. Hey, we... They wanted us to connect a trade route, apparently. So now they're our friends, and, uh... We get happiness from that. And relationships will decay slower. Because of our policies. Oh, this is the warrior. Just fortify until he'll not fortify forever on that. 
and pyramids, medieval era, uh, they've cancelled a quest. Well, it's a shame about the pyramids in the medieval era. Don't care about the quest. And our road is almost finished. Oh, it's going to be so close. On our, uh, on this for religion. I think you can still... I don't know, what happens if you get a great profit, but you no longer are able to make a religion? I mean, would he... I don't know. Instrument. That would be weird. Also, aqueducts are now in both of our cities, just as a reward for having researched that. Um, a couple of our advisors are telling me to go for this, and I agree with them. That will benefit us, without doubt. I think our next city, we're going to want one either down here or over here. Or maybe both. Although up here there's some stuff that might be worth it. Um, I don't think we really want to expand into these marshes over here. And down this way, oh, there's stone and... Uh, other stuff, but I think um, that it would be better to go off this way instead. We've connected our cities. Uh, the worker. <laughs> cities have been connected. Unit needs orders. Uh, we're going to have the warrior f find Poland down there. And a uh, worker go out here, because we don't have that luxury resource yet. Then we'll work our way in. We'll upgrade the wheat. Uh, then get the elephants, the horses, elephants, wheat. Yeah. Only this one tile, it seems, overlaps between the two cities, or one, two. Okay, this tile as well. So there's just two tiles of overlap. That's not so bad. And, uh, now let's construct a granary, and we'll construct that there, which will also provide us some more money each turn, and, uh, you know, the other stuff, the resource for more happiness, which will get us towards golden ages faster, which, you know, lots of benefits for those. Another great writer has been born, uh, we got our wonder, so great profit. So we'll have a lot to do this turn. Austria. Oh, right. Poland has the uh, darker color. Well, anyways. I had Austria in mind for, like, abilities, but um, said the wrong name. My bad. But yeah, they will... Uh, we can create a great work. So we're going to do that. I went to the woods because I wish to live deliberately. And then we are going to found a religion. But first we'll choose our production. Um, actually, even though we probably should focus on some of the other infrastructure stuff, I really want the oracle, so we're going to go for that. Religion. What have we got left as choices for icons? Uh, I'm definitely going to change the name, whatever we choose. Uh... We will go with this. Uh, instead of that, we will be... Awesomeism. You know, a uh, very legitimate religion for me. That's exactly what you'd expect we have. For our founder belief, we don't have a lot of choices. Uh, Hmm. We're going to go for this, and then try really, really hard to get a lot of city-states to have this religion. And... Shrines for happiness, cultures, temple... World wonders provide faith. Food. 
production. Uh, religious community, not at war. The faith would be good because faith would uh, help us get another one to um, yeah we want we probably want the faith something that gives us faith so uh, this would max out at four faith for us uh, this would already easily be more than four faith so uh, divine inspiration Lots of stuff happened. Uh, medieval, medieval, great person, great person, barbarians. I don't care. Uh, Austria is now protecting. Aren't we protecting them? We are protecting them. We're gonna be better friends with them than you are, Austria. Uh, and we founded a new religion. And there's, well, at the very least, they'll be getting some religious influence now from this and our trade route. I don't know if Austria has a religion or not. I guess we'll kind of see as we explore further down. Uh, if they don't, that would be really good for us. And Venice doesn't have one either. So if we can get some missionaries up to Venice, we can convert them, which is good. You want to have uh, as many civilizations of your religion as possible. Uh, far Ooh, more food from farms. Uh, this would be a good wonder for us to have, so civil service. Especially since each wonder now provides us with uh, some faith as well. Austria does have a religion, which is a shame. And then, uh. Yep, embassies. And then Sweden doesn't have a religion. Okay. So if we can rush over and convert Sweden and Venice, that would make converting all the city states in between Ur and Wellington very easy. This might be a battleground city-state for religions, but I still think we might be able to pull it off. Alright. Uh, there's another wonder that um, gives us a bunch of missionaries. I think we're going to try and go for it. We are definitely a very uh, wonderful civilization. Yeah, each of these is producing more faith, which will get us up a lot faster now, faith-wise, than just what we had before. Alright, and... Doo -doo -doo. Uh, we could make another trade route. We'd probably be able to reach uh, Salzburg here, so that might be worth it. If we look in the religions... Um, Beliefs. Follower, founder, pantheon, follower, enhancer. Catholicism. Oh, that's going to be a pain. So Austria is the only one to have enhanced their religion, and they've enhanced it with one that increases the power of their missionaries. That will cause us problems. But uh, overall, I think we'll be able to handle it. Campment discovered. Uh, way over there, I don't care. Bobador. Was that... I feel like that was the one that uh, gave missionaries. We'll have to see. It's not going to tell me there. Well, if we were to click here and change production... That was the one that uh, gave uh, missionaries. Let's start bringing our warrior back up. And next turn. Alright. Losing grasp on them. That's not good. We do have a lot of spare money, though. So... I think it might be well worth Yep. See? Marhaban ayyuhal ajami. 
See, Islam. Told you. Told you I wasn't just being like stereotypical or racist or anything. Uh, we've got a bit of money, so... Actually, we'll try and save up to 500 gold first. Because we'll get more out of that than we will out of uh, just giving them 250. I don't know, though. The location doesn't look like they would have been able to... Uh, make the uh, one other wonder, so maybe they didn't. I wonder who did. Is it... Actually, I think there's something where I can check that up here in Diplomacy. Uh, Global Politics, Temple of Artemis, Great Lighthouse, Pyramids, Terracotta Army. Okay, so we didn't build that. Someone else we haven't met yet did. It might at some point be worth it to work on uh, getting piety. Faith. Yeah. Probably be worth it at some point, but we want to finish up patronage first. And uh, after that, I don't know. But uh, anyways, that is going to be it for now, as soon as it finishes processing this turn. So... I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you again next time.